Assalamu alaikum barka da warhaka barka da wannan lokaci Suna na Fuadu Umar kuna solar mu on cable FM Make it faruwa a duniya za mu tafi daga Kano State Nigeria yau masoya na governor Abba wato Kabir Joseph yan kwankwasiya sun fito in their thousands suna wato baki anya cikin Kano me suke me fito da su me suke bukata me yasa kuma suka zabe yau shi da tambayar da ake yi akwai wato wani member na NNPP babba mutu ne cikin kwankwasiya movement din nan chairman ne kuma na kwankwasiya reporters wato Gali Basaf yana nan tare da mu zai join mu live from Beijing shi daga Kano State Nigeria mu yi magana Kano yayi zafi yau yayi zafi kuma Kano ta tashi ta saya in tayi zafi Nigeria ne tayi zafi din za mu ji mu mishi sallama yanzu na Muhabe quick discussion Malan Gali muna ce maka salam ko welcome to Cable FM Thank you very much. Wa alaikum salam my brother. Ya kake ya kuma family Malangali. Wallahi alhamdulillah ko wa lafiya ya naka. Mun kuma mun gode ma Allah muna nan lafiya. Malangali gashi na yau an waye gari. Yau ranan Larubanga wato November 29 2023. An tashi an gan kun fito yan kwankwasiya kwai ku da kwarkwatan ku kun fito cikin Kano kuna zanga zanga mutane sun confuse shin me ya faru ne yau da Kano me yasa aka fito kai dai chairman ne kake yi na kwankwasiya reporters kuma kana tare da wato kwankwasiya movement din da ina son ka jefa muna wani quick bayani sannan tambayoyi su biyo me ya kawo ku yau kuka fito daga Kano kuka zo kuna zanga zanga nan malan gali basaf on cable fm assalamu alaikum warahmatullah Uh, da farko ina so ne amfani da wannan dama da godewa kibla FM da suka gani cewa ya kamata na zo na ce wani abu kuma suka damu da abin da yake damuwar al'umma jahar Kano so muna godiya da wannan haka ina wa yan uwa masu sauraron kibla FM godiya bisa sauraron wannan tasha da suke yi yauwa kamar yadda ka fada yau 29 ga watan November 2023 al'umma jahar Kano dan kishin jahar Kano ba iya dan kwankwasiya ba sun fito kan titi domin su nuna rashin jin dadin su especially akan abubuwan da ake tayi musu idan za ku iya tunawa a zaben 2029 kowa ya sani injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf ya ci zabe a matsayin gwamnatin jihar Kano so amma wani tudu wani gangare saboda wadansu a sama wadanda ake zargi a gwamnatin tarayya shugabannin gwamnatin tarayya na Nigeria suna da wani mis ordinance ya 2019 suna da misunderstandings tsakanin su da jagoran wannan dariƙa ta kwankwasiya suna ganin cewa kamar shine matsalar sa arewa suka yi kutun-kutun suka kwace the same yanzu 2023 aka zo wajen zabe tun kafin zabe suke ta shirye-shiryen yadda za su su kulle-kulle su hana mu cin zabe amma cikin ikon Allah al'umma jahar Kano sun amince da injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf sun amince da dariƙar kwankwasiya irin aikace-aikacen da tai musu saboda haka suka zo suka tsaya suka zabe injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf da ƙuri'u sama da miliyan 1 duk da lokacin zabe sun yi kokarin fashe-fashe da dukkanin wata hanya ta magudi da ya ga ƙuri'a da sauran su amma cikin ikon Allah Allah ya tabbatar da wannan kafin lokacin nan suka dinga cewa ai bala a ransar da injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf ba suka je suka yi ta kulle-kulle a ainihin ganin cewa sai an canja wannan sakamakon zaben an ba su a matsayin su suka yi nasara amma cikin ikon Allah ainihin ta sanar da cewa Abba Kabir Yusuf ya ci zabe bayan an yi wannan suka zo suka dinga cewa bala a ba da certificate ba koi Abba bai ci zabe ba again aka ci gaba da tafiya ainihin suka ba da zabe so bayan wannan kuma daga baya sai suka shirya suka kara kullo ta kullalliya sai suka tafi kotu ashe a kotun muna tunanin kotu idan aka tafi za a yi mana adalci yadda muke kallon kotu bangaren shari'a a Najeriya shine wanda yake tsaya tsakani tsakanin judicial tsakanin legislative da executive arms na gwamnati su suke tsaya tsakani domin su tabbatar da adalci kuma su sasanta rikici a tsakanin yan kasa so amma cikin ikon Allah tribunal bate amfani da duk abin da ya dace ba sai ta zo ta dauko wani abu wanda yake daban ta zo ta ce ta soke kori wajen 260 da wani abu na injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf a haka muka ci gaba da tafiya muka hakura muka zauna lafiya saboda muna ganin cewa kamar a gaba la ai mana adalci to cikin ikucin hukuncin Allah muka tafi appeal a appeal court suka zo suka yi hukuncin su hukunci sai zama guda biyu na farko akwai wanda aka fada a baki aka ce an kori karan mu an kori abin da muka fada saboda ana ganin kamar injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf kamar yadda suka fada wai ba dan jami'a bane so finally nan ma 
again ba mu ce komai ba mutanen jahar Kano suka yi shiru saboda suna suna ta addu'o'i Allah ya kwata musu cikin ikon Allah wajen kwana hudu muna jira a ba mu judgment din a rubuce kamar yadda doka ta ta tsara so amma ba a ba mu ba sai wajen a cikin kwana na hudun nan su naka dauko judgment aka bayar to da yake Allah ba a zalimin bawon sa bane cikin ikon Allah da aka ba da judgment din a rubuce sai hukuncin ya nuna cewa injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf shine yayi wilin din wannan shari'a shine yace zabe har tai kafara France da wancan hukuncin da aka yi tribunal ta tace ta sedent trend din su a site ta aje shi a gefe tana ganin injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf yace zabe so a sakamakon wannan abun sai abin ya lama ya lama akwai control ba sai a ciki wadan suna cewa wancan ne sakamakon wadan suna cewa wancan ne ba sakamakon ba so abin da dai jahar Kano ya fito da muyo gaba daya in takaice maka shine sun fito ne saboda su nuna rashin jin dadin su bisa kokari bisa kokari bisa kokari da ake yi na ganin cewa an kwace wa al'umar jahar Kano kujera gwamnatin jahar Kano injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf saboda haka mutanen jahar Kano suke ganin cewa ya kamata su to su nuna duniya cewa ba za su yadda da wannan abu ba kuma haka ne muna ba wa gwamnatin tarayya shawara cewa ya kamata su la'akari su manta da maganar alaka su ko kuma rashin fahimta su da wani dan siyasa ko kuma wani jagora su kalli cewa wane ne ya zabi injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf al'umar jahar Kano su suka zabi injiniya Abba Kabir Yusuf su suka fito da rana da menene da ruwa da suka juda suka zabe shi saboda suna ganin shine wanda ya cancanta ya jagorance su so amma ana ta kullakulle ana zargin wadansu a can fadar gwamnatin tarayya da suna hada baki da bangaren shari'a da bangaren jami'an tsaro suna zuwa suna yi mana wannan abin da bai dace ba so wannan shi samu ka fito zanga zangan lumana domin nuna rashin jito mu da jin dadin mu ga yadda ake tafi kar da shari'a akan wannan zaben gwamnatin jihar Kano kuna tarayya ne on FM suna na Fuad Umar chairman na Kankasiya Reporters kuma babban mutu ne cikin Kankasiya movement nan Malang Gali Basaf a Malang Gali wasu suka ce wai fito wanda kuka yi nan wai kamar intimidation ne kuke son ku intimidate judicial system nan da yake court ta ce ta yanke hukunci kuma an je da case nan daga appeal shin a me za ku gama wannan mutane ai ka san ba za ka hana yan siyasa ko kuma mutane fadar ra'ayinsu ba saboda abu ne wanda ya kasance abu kala biyu da mikaya da kuma wanda yake so ya kwace wa mikaya kayan sa saboda haka mikaya zai fito ya fadi gaskiya akan lamarin abin da ya fada su kuma masu san kwace za su fadi duk kare da suke ganin ya kamata amma mu masu bin doka ne abin da yasa da a ce ba mai dida a judiciary ba ko bangaren shari'a da ai ba lamu ba lamu mai yadda da suka kira mu ba lamu je ba kuma again da aka yi mana hukunci ba mai daidai ba ai da ba lamu daukar kara mu tafi ba muna biyayya ga shari'a duk dokoki na shari'a muna bi so amma abin da yake nuna wa shine sai ka lura sai ka rasa daga ida matsalar take ga hukunci yadda ya kamata yanzu misali mu dauki maganar da suka yi judgment na appeal cewa abba ba dan jami'a bane akwai hukuncin da aka yanke akan akan shi kansa Peter Obi sun ce wannan pre election matters ne ba shi da alaka da wai shari'a kotu ba ta da alaka ko kuma ba ta da wani hakurumi da za ta iya cewa wani dan jami'a ne ko ba dan jami'a bane sannan akan sa shi kansa mai girma bola ta nubu shugaban kasa shi ma wannan case din ya faru suka ce wannan pre election matters ne haka akwai wani dan majalisu da yawa daya daga ciki ma a sati daya akai dan majalisun tarayya na kura mu dogo garin malam a jahar Kano shi ma akwai wanda ya kai shi kara a cikin abin da yake charging din sa haddace ba dan jami'a bane nan kotu ta ce wannan pre election matters ne to saboda haka wannan abubuwan sai ka rasa daga ina abubuwan suke faruwa wannan shine ya janyo mutane suke nuna wa amma tunda aka faru wannan abun ai baka je an ce mun je mun da kiwana ba ko kuma mun kare wani alfa ko mun yi wani abu wadanda suka yi kuskuren ma a cikin mu an ka lura gwamnatin jahar Kano ya dakatar da su wanda suka yi magana akan shari'a da alkali da wai da sauran su an dakatar da su so wannan shi zai nuna maka cewa mu masu san zaman lafiya ne kuma muna biyayya ga bangaren shari'a kuma ya ganin cewa bangaren shari'a zai mana adalci shi yasa muka daukar kara to amma yanzu muna ganin kamar abun yana nema ya canja salo kamar ana nema a dinga juyawa da za ka tuntube su kansu bangaren shari'a idan za su iya gaya ma tsakanin su da Allah za su gaya maka cewa ana influencing din yadda suke aiwatar da shari'a especially akan jihar Kano wadan suna da interest ne ga kujerar gwamnatin jihar Kano shi yasa ka ga adalcin yana musu wahala so wannan shine amsar tambaye da kai former vice president Atiku Abubakar one report ya circulate kaman ya question what to independence in the 
judicial system in Nigeria take the she be man on court tuna. Ya bad a wani impression come on sitting government Nabola Ahmed Tinibu come on sooner manipulate when the system nani to what to quatch was to uh curfew powers to consolidate powers in them within uh what to federal system state and federal level. Uh, does that cool wanga appeals court on ga could you could appeal one in case in that may then a level of confidence the cookie the she were what to for the judicial system with them specifically when the appeals court yeah wa uh Allah said key sugar bank as uh mate but form of bias sugar bank as an Nigeria at you abu bakar abin de fada muka muna wan nazar jim so the aina gaya mu aparko the need in this aka gake na mimi biya ya ga shikan sa hukun chum koto so the da muna ganin kamal la si mana adalchi ama the kaputat sa kama kwa na najahar kanu judgment na najahar kanu badik in the aka saki za aka gana chiwa akwe alamat tambaya du wana masa ni shara a dunia zi gaya maka chiwa akwe alamat tambaya achiki misali Anglo Ampata Aba Anchega Judgment Aba Ki Amma Kumu Wanda Aka Bayer Dabang Shukuma Arubuchi So Sabo Da Aka Seka Gana Ti Wa Musali Bangaran Shara Ad Aka Do Gana Di Shia Ana Gani Shini Zee Yiwa Kuwa Adalchi Shini Zee Yiwa Kuwa Adalchi akani misunderstanding akani yanka saa kukumu gomla tochi ya kasa nchi yena yi ilu mwana mkuskura tu wanene ya wazayi kuskuri ba kena karubu ta awu da kanku kukumaya weka dawo kachi kahi kuskuri kuma kuskura maenda laka weka dawo ajara kuma jara nda la adawo shi kasa jara nda aki magana adawo aka mkuskuri ni sabu na ita wana mkotu aka ida shato kusi gawota ni yeka mada arusheta so ba abada jojume na basi bayan shato kusi gawota to sabu daka kuma anchewe ya kara dawa ajara to wanene bayan abu nga alga arusho kwa utu wanene zi ijara so ilu mwata na abu uwa kuma akwe shiru udewa wanda aki zarigi chewa tik sina irashin adalichi akai Sabu da anaga ni nchewa gomlete ntareya sina influenza ndansu. Kuma ida nzaka ya tina wa. Tindaga. Loka chende APC tahu mulki. Duwa na pangari. Nara yuwa tap atash. Pangari nsaru ina chikim. Mhm. Mhm. Chikim matala anajiria. Nenda ake chikim shuga banchi. Ina chikim matala anajiria. Kwa maida kache edgani gabaat ya lala chi. Tatalang azik ya lala chi. Sadara yuwa tayya wa. Wata nang abu wan suune seka sanyachi wa. En najiria seka rasa confidence. Akan itakan ta judiciary. Nenda ake gani ita chikim. An sauran daraza a chikim harka. Tinda idan kalura. Kwa nang najiria idan zaka interview. Kaje kai subi. Amas en kanat anjari da kai bun chikim. Kasocha sa inza ka saa mchiwa Basi ya dache wa judiciary in Nigeria Sina yung aiki yende yeka mataba So wana nishini abu ndeja nyo Alhaja atiku abu bakar Ya atu kiu ya putu wana mga gana chiwa Yana gana chiwa Gwa mletu ntale ya itiki matiki juu judiciary Sabu da kaga babi independency kena Ida mkuma a judiciary babi independency Kwa mena ya parwa kasa Tinda kasa tala mchiwa tena kana kashir rayuwa kena Survival of the fittest Mekarifi Iden na mara karifi Rayuwa tala mkama rayuwa dubu biya adaw kena Sabu da kaka Muna kila ga wamlutu ntareya Ya ka mwata siyuku kari Siyuku kari Si chanda wana abu Wana abu mbaze high power da Nigeria Dami iduba Idansina gani nye nsinsa mudama Lata iyo guwoba suwani akai Kilo wanda sike ura wa idansi kadu Rashing adult in the sky ayanzu Zee iya da wa ya shafisu Idambi ya shafisu badi shafi ya ensi na kasusu Sabu da ka wana itachi Amsa da namba kagami da Abu nda tika wana kwa The final question is that Mumaka do me Yo very busy day in it for Konkosi ya movement in other county state Nigeria Later on we will have more detailed discussion and I can buy the verdict that got post court in them now Sandy come on kuna the Nia and be free from Kukunji all the way what to show me this time around the Supreme Court she can finally say in Supreme Court about the judgment in the she young Kukosia Zako accept when the verdict in the Kudiba Zako accept it Ay kasenye nzu abunda miki duba wa shini abunda miki gaya wa itakanta Supreme Court shini teya adalichi teya adalichi adalichi shini maganu kumai adalichi shini di chanja kumai idang aka ya adalichi babu wanda zi che ba ya adalichi ba ama idang aka ya leshi adalichi inda aka ya leshi adalichi ok ya samu break chiki network in shurina ewe abinda ye kamata teya Supreme Court shini Tayi Adelchi. Intayi Adelchi. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Naam, go ahead. Kache Tayi Adelchi. Naam. Hello. Muna Jinka. Go ahead, Chairman. Alaba. Naam. E Bejimu. Shi yena Salam Alaikum. Muna Salam Alaikum. Ena su yeyi magana wu Tayi Adelchi. Indi Tayi Adelchi. Bima na soon accept. Imba Tayi Adelchi ba what? Shi ni inda magana shi Salam Alaikum. Wani break. 
muna so nam a uh, chairman gali yeah, basab kace supreme court ya kamata ta yi adalci in ta yi adalci yi yake wuda to yanzu menene adalci nan da kuka expect ta yi ita supreme court me za ta yi da za ta bari kuyan konkotsiya ku consider kaman ta yi adalci nam uh, adalci shine mutane kowa ya riga duk duniya ta yadda cewa mu muka ci zabe sannan abu na biyu again uh, a shari'a ita kanta mu muka kawo duk hujojin da ya kamata mu kawo a abubuwan da ake charging din mu abubuwa guda uku ne abu na farko cewa abba ba dan jami'a bane abba ba dan jami'a bane ko tu ba ta da hurumi akan wannan duk da mu mun san abba dan jami'a ne ko tu ta san cewa abba dan jami'a ne tunda jami'a ita da kanta ta sake register kuma ta fada ta butu ta ce abba dan jami'a ne kuma kowa ya sani a lokacin idan ba dan jami'a bane ta ya aka yi tsaye takara eh ha ainihin ta karba ta kar usmanta kuma idan ba dan jami'a bane ta ya aka yi ainihin ta declare din sa a matsayin wanda yake zabe kaga tambaya alamar tambaya akan wannan kenan sannan abu na biyu akwai maganar hurumin soke eh su kansu kuri'u 165 sun ce wai sun soke kuri'u saboda ba a yi stand ba amma a dokar zabe abinda dokar zabe ta ce shine idan dai presiding officer wanda yake kamar shine shugaba na akwatu wakilin ainihin akwatu ya yadda da kuri'a aka irga ta to shikenan talama ballot so saboda haka suka je suka dabo kuri'un bogi na APC suka dabo kuri'un bogi suka zo suka zuba suka ce wai wadannan kuri'un wai dukan su gaba daya wai na NPP ne ko a hankali idan ka kallo wannan abin ka san abin da ba zai yi bane idan an samu invalid vote kamata ya zama cewa ko wata jam'iya ita ma tana da wannan invalid din ba a ce wai iyalai jam'iya ɗi bane so kaga wannan ma alamar tambaya ce saboda haka muna kallon kotu ya kamata su la'akari da wannan hujjojin da abubuwan da suke faruwa domin ya kasance su ya adalci adalci ɗaya shine duk wanda ya ci zabe tsakani da Allah a bashi zaben sa rashin adalci matsala ne rashin adalci shi sharar da kake gani dan aike ne duk lokacin da kai shi kuma alhaki kukuyo ne dole zai iya dawa kanka sannan mu duba tarihi lokacin gwamnatin shagari daya daga cikin babban dalilin da ya kawo matsala ta hayya janyo military intervention shine sun yi kokarin ina ga ko suna so su kwace kujerar jahar oshin ne ne ko ta imo ne npl npl lokacin ba su ci zabe a jahar ba suke so su kwace to wannan abin ya lamai na daga cikin abin da yasa military suka zo suka yi tafilin din gwamnatin suka karbe sannan again mu kalli situation din da kasar take ciki yanzu yanayin tsaro yayi yawa talauci yayi yawa yan kasa duka a wuya suke idan ana zuwa ana ci gaba da irin wannan adalcin komai zai iya faruwa sannan abu na uku ka kalli jawon kasashe da suke kusa da Najeriya akwai irin su Burkina Faso akwai irin su Niger ana magana ga Salolan ga ko gini bisau ne ko Congo su ma gwamnati military sun karbi gwamnati to idan aka ci gaba da irin wadannan rashin adalcin komai zai iya faruwa a Najeriya amma mu masu biyayya ga shari'a ne shi yasa kaga har yanzu mun fito din tun kafin a yi hukuncin muna ga yawa bangaren shari'a ya kamata su yi hukunci su yi hukunci hukunci na adalci su rabu da duk wani wanda zai zo dinga influencer din su yanzu daga wannan lokacin zuwa yanzu darajar bangaren shari'a a Najeriya a duk duniya ya zube ba su da wani kima ba a ganin su da kima saboda ana ganin abin da suke yi kawai ba adalci suke ba suna yin abin da suka ga dama ne ko kuma suna yin abin da gwamnatin tarayya ta ga musu so a takaice wannan shine abin da zan iya cewa dangane da wannan godiya muke maka wato chairman na konkasi reporters wato gali a basab da kazo ka join mu ke ba fm muka have wannan quick discussion zuwa ga ba mun samu time mu zo mu yi more detail ta tanawa da kai muna maka godiya ko da muna hope ke da family ku stay blessed kuma muna wishing ku the best of luck ki wannan appeal process thank you very much i'm very grateful and my regards to all the audience of kibla fm gana thank you very much thank you mun gode maka ba won allah da yazo join mu wato shi bai wata da shanin kokosiya fa ido shi ya ja yake maganar da yace abin da suke expect shi ne adalci in ayi musu adalci shi kenan wai in supreme court ba tai adalci ba shi ke bude anya yake ba sojoji dama suke juye mulki katashe kuma wannan maganar na akwai gaskiya su dai wannan kai juye mulki shi ka ga mutane ana pinpoint a ce kaman system mun bai aiki to wai kada a bada wannan excuse din a court ta kasance tana adalci tana ba me gaskiya gaskiyan shi wa ya ka ya ka nan Najeriya ta yi karfi ta ci gaba kuma ta prosper shi wannan ba wannan Allah magana da yana in line website mu na kibla fm shine www.kiblafm.com ku logan ka wannan site ku access resources mu ba da jima ba mun da mu zo mu ci gaba sannan kuma in aka buga 8:30 pm darin yau muna cikin wannan tafakin ga 
open discussion right here on Kepler FM. Until then, Najemu Salam.